okay guys to create this program you need two files the first one is the python file uh, with the py extension and the second one is the txt file which we will create now let's name this file let's say let's say not in this folder let's name this file let's say balance.txt okay so let's enter here initial balance uh, let's say 100,000 sorry and after that in this account.py fold class not a class in this file we will create a class let's name this class account and after that we will create a function def underscore underscore init and here we will pass two parameter and let me tell you that we are creating this function to get the balance from this txt file to this window for that what you have to do is create a self variable sorry parameter and then pass a file path and in this file path we will pass this txt file and now here we will open the file for that you have to put with open file path comma r and we will read this file that's why i am putting here read and if you are not familiar with this topic i will recommend you to watch the python to ai ml and data science playlist the link is down in description and here what we are doing in this is we are opening the file path as a file and you can name this variable any variable let's say blah 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 but i am naming it as file and after that we'll pass self dot balance it is just an attribute and after that I want this number to be integer you know that the program read the this file as a string to convert it in integer we need to put it as an integer file dot read so that's all and for this function and after that we will create another function uh, 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 let's say def uh, deposit function d e p o s i t d e p o s i t yes i think the spelling is self amount and here after that let's what you have to do is self dot balance balance what you will do is we will update the balance mm, for that what you have to do is balance dot plus the amount which the user want to add so that's all for this deposit function let's create the What's the next function? Withdraw function. Withdraw self amount and self dot balance equals to self dot balance minus amount. And that's all for this withdraw function. Now let's first check these function if they are working or not for that what you have to do is let's create a variable let's say acc out account equals to account and here in this account class you have to pass this file b a l a n c e dot t x t balance dot t x t and what you have to do is now print account 
dot balance let's see what we get here we will get the balance you can see we will get the balance and to deposit the amount what you have to do is account dot deposit uh, let's say let's say 20 rupees okay i got it what you have to do is you have to print it again that's why print you will get the let's move this line from here you will get the new balance here 20 rupees has been added but when you check this file balance.txt you will not get the update here so how can you do that for that let's create another function let's name this function commit and here we pass the value self and what you have to do is now we want to open this we want to read this sorry we want to write in this balance.txt file the amount so for that what we have to do is we want to access, access this file path outside this function so how can we do that for that we have to put here self dot file path equals to file path now we can access this function anywhere in this class now let's do it file op with open self dot what's the name file path comma write as file and then we will file dot write and uh, what do you want to write as string and uh, here we will we want we want to add the balance that's why we will put balance here let's check it out let's run this commit function count dot commit let's see 130 1030 here the value has been updated let's check the what's the next yep let's check the withdraw function dot withdraw yes it's working fine the these two functions are working fine now i'm giving the task what you have to do is the this is the blueprint which you have created now you have to take the input from the user and put the value here let me show you how here you can see you have to convert this account dot account file into to this this type of file you will take the input from the user enter the amount to be deposited what do you want this type of okay then you have to print the amount if you are unable to do so in the next video i'll give the link of this function this full program sorry you can check that out and if you still can do that you can ask me in the comment box i will definitely help you and in the next tutorial guys i will tell you how you can create this transfer function to transfer the money from one account to another so follow me to the next tutorial and if you like this video please hit the like button and please share the feedback in the comment box and thank you and meet you in the next tutorial